This is the first Principles Update for 2017, so let me begin by wishing you all a happy and rewarding New Year and express the hope that you had a relaxing break over the Christmas and New Year period. We can, I think, look back on 2016 with some satisfaction. There were many achievements that collectively we can claim for the year, and I don't want to go through a rehearsal of all those achievements, but just pick out one or two highlights that seem to me to reflect the essence of what Queen Mary is as an institution. We were the first university to receive a Gold Watermark Award from the National Coordinating Centre for Public Engagement, a reflection of the great deal of work done by our public engagement colleagues, but more broadly by colleagues across the institution. We have also paid a great deal of attention to our submission to the Athena Swan Scheme, an application that is for silver status. We don't know the result of that uh, exercise yet, but I very much hope that all the work that has been done in that area will be rewarded in that way. So we have a firm foundation to move into 2017. Indeed, a firm foundation in a literal as well as a metaphorical sense. We are recording this principles update on the top floor of the Graduate Centre, which opened just in the last couple of weeks. For those of you who have not yet visited the building, I recommend you do so. It is a fabulous building and a signal very clearly of our commitment to the education of our graduate students in particular, and also to the provision of high quality accommodation for our academic colleagues. 2017 will be a year of challenge and transition for Queen Mary as for the higher education sector as a whole. We are just completing our submission to the Teaching Excellence Framework, a national exercise which broadly parallels the Research Excellence Framework and is designed to judge the quality of teaching and related activities in all our universities. A great deal of work has been put into that. I think we will have an entirely satisfactory outcome, but we await the outcome later in the year. Another significant development which I confidently expect for 2017 is real progress on our long-held aspirations to develop a life sciences campus at Whitechapel. We have made significant progress in discussions with Bart's Health Trust to the point where we are now able to talk to major partners, both academic and commercial, in taking forward what is, I think, very exciting in research terms, but also potentially transformational for the whole institution. And I do mean the whole institution. Although it is a life sciences initiative, we depend on input from colleagues across all three faculties, and indeed that is part of the strength of the initiative we have undertaken. All of our own developments take place in the context of significant change for higher education in England. The Higher Education and Research Bill is on its way through Parliament at the moment, and I and many other colleagues have been involved in briefing of members of Parliament, both in the Commons and the Lords, to ensure that there is an informed debate in, in both Houses, and therefore that the Bill in its final form will recognise the considerable strengths of higher education in England, as well as looking forward to the potential for the future. That Bill will complete its stages in, in the coming weeks, and will provide the framework within which we all work within the next few years. Periods of change can be unsettling, but I think there is very little reason for the Queen Mary community or its members to be unsettled by this period of change. We have based our progress on very significant achievements, and I confidently expect that whatever challenges we face in the next 12 months or so, they will be outweighed by the opportunities that we have. We're in a great position to take advantage of those opportunities, and I'm sure we will do so. As always, I welcome your feedback, either directly to me in person or via principal at qmul.ac.uk. Thank you for your attention.